Uh, the sound of the birds, they taunt me. Trapped down here in my interconnected series of concrete tombs that we call the city's infrastructure. Uh, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Infra. And I'm not sure which of these two paths I should take first. And man, I'm having so much fun with this game. I was actually really worried going into this playthrough that my memory would kind of be jogged, even though I've forgotten most of it, and it would all start to become much more familiar, but that hasn't been the case. Not only am I diving deeper, and I think finding a lot of things that I never found before, but I'm also finding that it's just like a new game that makes coming in packs here. Batteries for the flash it, it, it has been 100% like playing it for the first time. Almost as if I'd only seen like screenshots before. Uh, but it doesn't seem like we can get up there. Actually, did I try that door? One second. No, okay, that's locked. So we do have to go up and in, into the vents. Uh, which apparently does not warrant a photograph. I mean, is this really supposed to be open like this? Yeah, whatever, not our problem. Actually seems kind of inconsistent which problems Mark chooses to burden himself with and, and which he chooses to let fall by the wayside, but hey, that's city infrastructure for you. Can we get up there? Hang on, we can climb out of this vent, but what about the one that's higher up? Hmm that fan will likely not permit, right? So maybe we have to stop it? <laughs> I had made an observation earlier on in the game that I really like how the game doesn't feel the need to be overly dramatic. I mean, it's got its dramatic moments for sure, but a lot of the time the imagery you're greeted with is perfectly mundane. Makes the crazy conspiracy stuff stand out all the more, in my opinion. Okay, we're not getting into here. Uh, but it's 3D, so there's got to be some reason. There's a panel on the wall here. Uh, fan start time, fan stop time. Oh, I see. We probably have to utilize that clock to figure that out. So what time is it? It is, it is now 6... 7? 6.08? So, hmm, probably want it to, wait, well actually it does say down here that the fan can be at max three hours inactive, uh, because all equipment in the city has to have weird quirks like that. Okay, so if the fan were to stop at like, say, a little before six, and start again... And directly after, that should work, shouldn't it? So here's what I just realized. 24 hours. So this would actually be 18, right? So we want the fan to start a little after that, presumably. So that would be 19, and then we can have you stop there, yes. Uh, let's leave it off for a little while longer, why not? And there we go. Oh my god, that should not have taken so long for me to figure that out. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I thought the back of that fan right there was a cake when I first climbed up here. And... There we go. Wait, though, because... I saw batteries in that room. There's gotta be a way to get in there. Unless there's something we missed a little farther back. Hang on, let's have a look around. That's still no good. Who knows what kind of hidden goodies there could be. Can't carry any more of these. Oh yes, you can. Yep, we have to look everywhere. Open sewer construction site, cesspit twenty-three G inspection report, May nineteen seventy-three. What are you doing in a garbage can in 2016? Inspected by Senior Field Inspector Johann Stahlberg. Notable shortcomings. Prefabricated concrete elements have too sparse a rebarring. Rebar steel is of poor quality and too thin. In some cases, even metal scrap has been used instead of proper rebar. 
This contains different types of metals with different coefficients of heat expansion. This means that temperature changes will cause the concrete to crack. The sand construction in the concrete is too small. Also, they've used cheaper desert sand in the concrete, which is too smooth for structurally sufficient concrete. Some of the sand in the concrete has even been replaced with common dirt. These findings render the concrete in use to be too fragile and pose a major structural hazard for its inhabitants and construction workers. The project must be halted immediately, and the current progress demolished and reconstructed with proper concrete. So, that would explain the 1993 collapse. Actually, it's kind of a wonder it even lasted that long. But there's got to be a key card somewhere. The fact that there's a key right here tells me that there's got to be one somewhere. Ah, uh, great. We're going back down into the sewers. Sewers which, from the look of all this stuff, may already be frequented by others. Ah, uh, great. Well, you know how this is. We have to explore every avenue. No matter how unlikely it seems that there will be anything to see. Nothing that way. Ooh, there is light, actually, in that direction. That's not something I expected to see. Oh, but it's electric lighting. Always the bait and switch. Always think we'll have daylight when there's never any such luck. And somebody's whole uh, living accommodations down here. Look, there's uh, there's the house, there's the rental unit, there's the car. Yep, now all they're missing is a wife and a dog. We can climb up there. What if we go further down? Yes, yes, birds, I hear you. I just keep expecting to see some shadowy figure move around a corner. Yep. Wow, Source really doesn't know how to handle these angled ladders. Oh! Thanks, game. Thank you. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, so note to self, wait for the thing to fully open before trying to climb out. Or it will just remove your grip to the ladder. Uh, but we should be checking this tunnel out anyway. And we are still doing our job, after all. Uh, look at all this debris that's fallen down here. Should I be replacing I its batteries? batteries? Yeah, that makes a huge difference. <laughs> There's another bag of kitties. Oh, and we've got something open here as well. Alright, uh, yeah, we should probably get a picture of that non-working door. Okay, this game is really confusing me with exploration and progression. Uh, that panel doesn't do anything. It's over here. Oh no, this has got to be a whole thing. You yeah, know, there's no way this is bonus. This has got to be a whole thing. We're gonna go check out that manhole cover. Waiting for you to finish now. Thank you. And there we go. <laughs> Does that puddle count as a collectible? No, but the people in these apartments are probably really freaked out. Nothing back here. <laughs> Maybe we can take a bike. I mean, like, is it really stealing if it's necessary? Also, oh, we can actually close it. Uh, we should probably get extra fix-it points for leaving that closed behind us. That would be really dangerous. Uh, ooh. Found your card. <laughs> Actually, it looked like it had something written on it. But I didn't get to see what it was. Can't go through here. <laughs> we can try these doors. We can't ask somebody to use their phone, like, really? How many people are taking part in these protests? Uh, but at least we've been given a convenient way to climb back down and make use of this stuff. Let's see what's in that room. Ah, 
I knew there'd be a reason. And we will promptly replenish ourselves nice from yonder batteries. Oh wait, there's something else too. Bjorn, dispose these documents as soon as possible. Contains harmful information. Okay, didn't expect this to be a gold mine. So that actually explains why those docs were in the garbage over there. There are better ways to dispose of documents. City of Stolberg, Department of Construction and Planning, Committee of Post Inspection Decisions, another one from February 73, urgent meeting summoned by Johann Stolberg. After a lengthy discussion judging Senior Field Inspector Stolberg's findings, the Committee of Post Inspection's decision rules that the project must not be cancelled. Reasons Stolberg is suffering a major housing shortage and a relatively high rate of unemployment. This vital project should not be halted after some minor shortcomings. Minor shortcomings, they're going to collapse. The contractor, Walter Co., has a perfectly good record. Slightly thinner rebar won't substantially weaken the concrete. Smooth desert sand is perfectly fine for concrete mix. The contractor's reports indicate that there isn't a significant amount of dirt in the concrete, only small traces of it. At most, these shortcomings will lower the building design's life from 40 to 30 years which is not an issue considering the fact that these buildings are constructed for temporary purposes, less than 25 years. They collapsed 20 years later almost exactly. Even if they were to be temporary, which they're not, they still wouldn't be good enough. Stahlberg clearly can't do his job properly. Is this what we call regulatory capture? I mean, did Jeff Walter exchange some funds to make this report happen? All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave this door open so that these people can get back and promptly panic uh, that somebody was in here. Or, you know what, maybe it would be smarter to close it so that they don't try to dispose of the evidence. All right, now let's see what's going on over here. The inspector has arrived, and it doesn't sound good. No, certainly not. Oh, wait. Something else there. Yeah, so how are we going to go about fixing this? Uh, well, we can't get over there. We probably need to get either through that door or up that ladder. Or maybe both. You know, the ever-presence of beer makes it pretty clear why things are going this way, even absent the corruption. Okay, so we can disable that, uh, but we probably need power to get out of here. Can't carry any more of these. Oh, we don't need that right now. Okay, so we need to keep in mind how we're going to be moving around absent this stuff. All right, we're going to be standing in a pool of water when we turn this off. So I'm going to go ahead and pop one of those Savy Davies. There we go. And now you're off, but we can't get through there. So what we need is to be on this side when these things are powered on. Now, nice. documents. Uh, electric substation service logbook. Uh, this stuff goes back to 98, 99. Uh, all the way up to 2015, you know, all on the same piece of paper. Uh, changed oils to one of the transformers. Which one? The one on the left. <laughs> that helps a lot. Uh, one of the cables seems to be loosely attached, should be repaired. Which cable? When will it be serviced? Use this log properly. I love how this is an exchange taking place over like seven years. Uh, the... The... Abel Blake? I cannot read that. Please let me use a flashlight when I'm looking at these. Or better yet, have like text displayed plainly on the side. Uh, we can't use the main switch. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, so we switch you. And maybe that'll work differently once we go to switch those other things back on. Not really keen to switch them back on while I'm standing in water. But we can move over the top here. Press to enable ventilation. Well, we're not doing anything without power. That's you. 
that will continue to spark oh, some damage over here. That doesn't count as damage. Uh, well, maybe I, maybe that's what I got through the transformer earlier. Uh, move as careful as we can. What about you? So now the only thing is right here. We can't just move the cable while the power's off. That seems like it would be a much more expedient option. Okay, so what does this enable us to do? If we turn you off, it's both. If we turn you on, it's just you. But if we switch to the aux line, then it's going to be that either way, correct? Like, the aux line will not power this puddle. So if we... Ah, I see. So if we switch you to on and switch you off, and then switch this over. There we go. Now we're on the other side. But on the wrong side of this. So that still doesn't help us. But there's got to be a way to do this. Oh, wait. But now we can climb up here. Right? Because there's still the fan switch. And bang. Real roundabout solution. <laughs> okay, I guess it was never an issue when this place was running because, well, that was just always working. Oh, come on. No sound? We get credit for a fix for that one, I feel like. Yeah, we probably should tell someone, though. Alright, moving on. Are you hearing some of the noises in this tunnel? Like, all of these places sound in their ambiance like a cave that some horrible thing lives in. Too bad that the metro station was closed. I'd be halfway back to the office already. Yeah, but <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you want to be riding that metro. I mean, you basically were riding that metro, and you saw how that worked out. That's not what a red light usually means. Wait, we've got to see what's at the end first. Alright, so you will open. So was the red light just to trick me? Will you stay open? That's the other question. You will. And there's no getting through here. It's nine packs so that'll take the batteries. batteries. Does that not count as not working? Yeah. Well, I suppose that means that the other side of this is flooded, right? Yeah, there's been less and less damage to document as we've been in the newer places, but uh, the damage we do encounter tends to be much more severe, which to me suggests active sabotage in the present day rather than just neglect. I mean, heck, we did find dynamite under the metro station. Anything back here? Anything under here? No. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. Wait. Walter, hang on. Locked. Locked. Okay, there's got to be some way through here. Uh, anything we can stack the boxes with? Oh, well, with this angle here... Okay, and I see what we're doing. All right, so we'll grab you, drop you here, climb on up. Come on, you can, you can do it. Just do the thing. Thank you. There we are. This lock-focused climbing system is really useful when you want to be precise. 
but it's really annoying when you want to be quick. Oh, come on. We don't want a souvenir. Oh, where are we? I still have nine packs of batteries left. Uh, some open blast doors. These elevators are disused. What kind of thing is this? And just think, one closed flood door is all it takes to bring us here. This is like some kind of bunker. Actually, a bunch of things had talked about a bunker. Um... I think this is a case of mistaken the identity. City is on the brink of collapse. All because of you. Motion sensors. Take a close look at these walls. This place is right under your own head. Oh god. And yet is in so Oh jeez. Okay, I'm just waiting for something to collapse so that I can use it. Nope. What a yeah! I mean, like, you know, noble goals and all. But... Uh, yeah, so there we go, there we go. That's what we're doing, that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on! Why do we always end up running from collapsing infrastructure? Why is it always us that ends up running from everybody else's nonsense? How much of this do I have to document? Go, 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 yeah! And more importantly, how much of this tunnel is going to collapse? A lot of it. I see those lines on the ceiling. Nope, go, 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 go. Okay, so bit of a delayed reaction on that. Uh, good thing Mark was here to document all of it before it exploded, or who would believe us? Oh, the ghost horse in the soundtrack. Okay, hang on. That's the kind of thing where I need to stop and collect my thoughts before I try and move on, or I'm just not going to say anything. Is that recent, or has that just been sitting there for 30 years, waiting for somebody to trip it? Uh, I gotta say, points for making your point known. That was in horrible shape, and you said it was right under your own headquarters. So I guess that means, based on the maps we saw earlier, we have moved all the way across the city. So does that mean that the headquarters above us has now collapsed? Did they bring down, like, a whole building? Just think, all of this down here, all this time, just waiting for its moment. I mean, really lucky a raccoon didn't trip this thing even back in the day. Uh, can we climb this somehow? Oh, we probably gotta use the shelves themselves. And this is going to be a huge area, I think. Because even from out there, like, uh, that space was so big, my flashlight hardly does anything. It goes off in all different directions. And we've got this over here. I hope this isn't the way out. Come on now. Right, we got to check everywhere we can go. And this is the reason why. Instant rewards all the time. It's like having a Capital One credit card. Is that an elevator? I'm 
anything over here, no batteries or such. Because uh, we were out of the truly dark environments for a while, but we're running into them like crazy now. Are you not going to open? Oh, we've got to open it ourselves. It's one of those old school ones. Okay, let's see where this goes. Wait, should I not have done that? Am I going to be able to come back? Oh boy, oh! Whoa! Okay, I think I should not have done that. I think, oh no, have I just left an entire place behind? I'll reload if I can't come back. But just how deep were we and just how high up are we going? The concrete just changed. Should my camera be at the ready? Okay, we're moving vertically very fast. I can already feel my ears pop and I'm not even here. What kind of place is this? Ooh. Uh I don't think you should keep your safe open like that. So it's open and thrown about, but Wow, somebody, somebody wasn't here to steal. Can't carry any more of these. Wanna bet? I still have nine packs of batteries left. Okay, we've certainly made a major discovery. Can we really not photograph this? Acquisition of HBH, company founder, Alex Hartman. Alex Hartman won't be causing any problems to us. We know that his wife died, and now Hartman is unstable and stressed, which is not a big problem for us. <laughs> if only you knew. Hartman doesn't seem to have any connections to anyone who could be a threat to us. Hammer Valley Hydro isn't doing so well, so the only thing left to do is to get Hartman to sell the company to Walter. HBH is also a small competitor to Atomcraft, and they will be glad when HBH is bankrupted. HBH has too many connections to the Bergman Group and has several hydropower plants in the Bergman Tunnels. The dam could be a good alternative power source to the bunker, and the location is important for several strategic reasons. Those are the main reasons we need to buy Hammer Valley Hydro. Wait. SNW, that's an Atom logo. Is that the, is that the nuclear power company? Acquisition of Stahlberg Steel, company founder Mikhail Rosenthal. Mikhail Rosenthal is a tricky case. He's a hard-boiled businessman, and he knows how to keep his company running. We also suspect that he knows about us more than we want to. He seems to have some connections to the Stahlberg criminal organizations where he got some of his information. We have to discuss with Rosenthal about selling company to Walter. We're sure that Rosenthal will accept our offer. After that, we have to make a plan on how to get rid of Stolberg's steel. Walter will handle that. So this isn't Walter himself. It's in his building, but it... These are probably from that third party. We know that the Stolberg steel offices contain some sensitive information, which we don't want to fall into the wrong hands. But the main reason to cause bankruptcy is getting the military extended mandate over civilian legislative bodies. Okay, so learning who this is is going to be extremely important. SNW, I'm thinking Stahlberg Nuclear something. All right, acquisition of the Bergman Group. So Alex Hartman was actually right. He was just wrong about how high up it goes. Uh, company founders, Eric Kleinman and Xander Berg. Eric Kleinman has been unstable after the disappearance of Xander Berg. He's made some hasty decisions, which has given a bad reputation for the company. He started building a new freshwater tunnel, which has been riddled with problems. Xander Berg works... Wait, Xander Berg works at the SNW bunker! He doesn't know that Kleinman isn't getting any of his letters. But he's... Remember before, that phone call. That phone call saying, like, they're keeping me prisoner. But he started to question the duration of the SNW project. We're trying to keep him happy as long as possible. We aren't sure how long we can keep him in the dark. The Bergman Group has made several bad moves, and we've managed to make things even worse. 
Stahlberg Bank froze the Bergman Group's account when there were some problems with Bergman's cistern construction project. Now the shareholders want to sell the company. We can make the Walter Company acquire it. So the Walter Company was essentially a vessel for S&W. There are many benefits to buying the Bergman Group. The company has built most of Stahlberg's underground infrastructure, including several areas around the S&W bunker, which is a high risk to our project. When we buy the Bergman Group, we'll have more control over Stahlberg. The underground areas are important to the defense of the city, and also provide great hidden transport routes. So are these... These might actually be government. Fascinating. Over there on the wall, there's a photo of presumably this building in the early stages of its construction. We must actually be pretty high above ground by now. Hello? S -s -s secret room Look at this There's the cruise ship I think that we saw from across the way earlier Wait, can we see our building from here? Uh, I don't know, it's so bright looking off into the distance And maybe it's a different cruise ship, but When you get to look out over all of this, like, you get such an impression of what this is all for. I love this about this game. It's all about, like, the city and the people who make it up. The people who run it and the people who just live within it. And the way those interests, the way they work together and the way they clash at different points. And the way it's almost impossible for any one person to have a clear picture. Well, except for one person. Maybe two. So that's him, huh? That's gotta be Jeff Walter. Okay, this is gonna be an absolute gold mine. Uh, oh, we can look at this. We can look at this. All right, uh, but we can't take a picture. Really? This seems important. Uh... Okay, that stuff is underlined down there, so that's got to be important. Stahlberg in World War II, structure of the Stahlberg, wait. Business law, planning, corporate strategy. This seems like a list of, like, documents. Oh, this opens as well. That's his desk. Why are there floodlights facing the desk? Either way, it looks like this room has been empty for quite some time. But not before being rummaged through. Big ol' ad for Osmo Loot. Yeah, I should have figured you wouldn't make it easy on us. We can't photograph any of this. You're locked. Anything of use over here? No. You're locked and you're locked. All right, let's tear this place apart. Come on, Mark. You don't want to roll this thing back and put your feet up? Hmm. These uh, vents seem a little three-dimensional. Yeah, I'm definitely going to cut a lot of this because I'm going to be checking a lot of this. I really want to make sure that this place in particular has nothing you can't hide. Always, always pay extra special attention to the 3D assets. <laughs> oh, I am so proud of this. Wait, there's some here as well. No. Probably not going to pull the same trick twice, but yep, there we go. Is there anything in there now? No, it doesn't seem so. Citizens of Stahlberg, let me ask you, who was it that rebuilt this city? Who was the one that 
protected this city and dedicated his whole life to its well-being. And yet, this is how you thank me. You believe those who betrayed us and labeled me a traitor. I know they've been up to something big, something that could be catastrophic for our future. But I won't let them destroy Stahlberg, my life's work. The corrupt officials want to silence me, but I won't let them. They will never find me, and I won't rest until everyone knows the truth. They have exploited my financial imperium for their own benefit under the veil of protecting the city and its people. They must be stopped before it's too late for the sake of our future and livelihood. They're building us. A... Uh, Mr. Walter, some men from the military just barged in looking for you. Huh. Plot twist. So, they're not just exploiting Walter's company in order to extend some. I'm going to have to read that document again, but in order to extend some kind of, like, military mandate. It's starting to look like this isn't actually like a case of industrial corruption, but actually like the government or at least the military using industry. That is so much more like I was thinking, OK, it's going to turn out that Jeff Walter is like being plied by some shady individuals, some other third party. But I never would have thought it would be the military. And what did happen to that piece of paper that was on his desk? He... He was dragged out of here. We learned earlier that he was missing. He didn't die at some point. This must have been the day it happened. He was just about to tell everyone, and at that point, he had outlived his usefulness. All right, well, I'll tell you what. It's been gone for all this time. Let's just shove that right back in there. Uh, where I can maybe tell someone about it later. Then again, our photos should be enough. Now, uh, there was also the matter of this. So, S5, T3, T6, S8, S10, T7. And then there's something crossed out on the bottom right. Alright, now I said it looked like documents or books... Business law, that's one of the ones that was in there. But it doesn't do anything. Are there others? Oh, okay, so it's some kind of combination. Hang on, let me try pushing a bunch of these in so that I can figure out if there's, maybe it extends to the others? Yes. But S5, that would be Stahlberg and Steel. T3 would be Transformation of War. Stahlberg and Steel. Uh, where's Transformation... Where Where's Transformation of whatever and whatever? Uh, there it is. Uh, and then it would be Business Law. That's the first three. So let's try it. Let's do Stahlberg and Steel. Transformation of War. Uh... Business law, and then bunkers, World War II, planning. Yes! Oh, that's just how we get out of here. I hadn't even realized that that had closed. Okay. <laughs> I was really excited for more fines, but eh, Jeff Walter, you've already done me a huge kindness. Come on. Hey there. It's hard to see from that angle, but yep, that is a cigar and a wad of cash in hand. And what looks to be some kind of fancy bar of soap or something, I don't know. There really is something to see everywhere. I love this game. All right, now for the moment of truth. Yes, yes, items survive loading screens. Okay, we're definitely gonna be making use of that. Thank you, sir. 
<laughs> uh, I got myself a little souvenir, which I will hmm, probably never be able to spend. All right, well, if I'm going to be carrying items around, I'm going to have to, like, leave them somewhere, but we're right back down into the dark. I really can't, like, buzz the front desk to be like, uh, Nancy, I don't know if you're still there after all these years, but you will not believe this. There's a leaky pipe. Which is, you know, obviously front and center on our mind right now. Yep, bat trees. Oh, wow, this place is in even rougher shape than you would expect after the detonation that just occurred. Uh, some movable boxes, allowing us to get through into back there. So let's just put that right there. Wow. If somebody's been living back here, they are really lucky they never stumbled into that trap. Yeah, that's actually something else. Forget raccoons. How have homeless people never stumbled into that since they seem to be able to get into pretty much anything? Well, they're living the life, at least. This place, or rather this game, is so full of things I just want, you know? Oh, and we can't use our items while we're carrying stuff. We can use our flashlight, but we cannot take our camera out, because I guess it's considered to be held in our right hand. Okay, so let's explore this place a little bit. Uh, that... Doesn't look ominous at all. Oh, there's so much ground to cover. That was a fun detour, but now I'm starting to feel overwhelmed all over again. I have like a ton of these things already. All right, looks like we're still doing good on that. Hmm, and we can turn on some sort of power, but maybe we'll hold off on doing that. Ooh, and there's another path over here, but locked as expected. Let's just take a peek. We can go even deeper. Okay, so this would have been, like, walled off for a reason, right? Like, there's no chance this thing is functioning as intended. Like, none at all. Let's see what was back down this way. This place is starting to feel at least a little bit less intimidating. I still have nine packs of batteries left. But only a little. Looks like I'm not going that way then. <laughs> Don't flood open inside. Nice reference. We got breaking bad, so now we gotta get the walking dead. Oh wait. Can actually see the way the water flows. It must be backed up pretty deep on the other side. And those aren't even flood doors. On um, the rail system ends here. I mean, they had talked about using this place not just to keep their secrets, but also for useful access to the underground and transit routes. As ill-advised as that may be, and give this a shot. Nope, oh, let's not forget our prize. I want to once again take a moment to point out that that whole thing, that huge bombshell revelation, you are behaving weirdly for a second, was optional. It was literally because we went left instead of right when we were climbing a shelf. And we got all that. Oh, there's a button on here. Let's hold you in case of physics wonkiness. Oh, there's so much that can go wrong between here and there. I gotta remember to take screenshots more often. The files are so huge when you take a 4K screenshot in a game like this. But it's worth it because uh, a screenshot is worth a thousand VLC snaps on a thumbnail. Oh god. I don't like those grinding sounds.
Words almost can't express my shock. All right, let's leave you over here in the light. We've got some more batteries. I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. Blast door, but there's a code. And no keys on the hook, so that's awesome. Uh, now, I did notice a ladder going down. Uh, is that something I can mess with? And uh, no, it's just scrap metal that I can use to build my apartment in Oban Sewer. Oh, is there nothing here? Hmm, that's surprising. So this is another funicular here, uh, which one of you in the comments for the first part was kind enough to explain to me what that word means. It means uh, this thing. Oh, there's a forklift on you. Are we going to be able to call you? No, I didn't think so. There was no light. Uh, no getting through here. This does open. Luckily, it doesn't seem like this area is all that extensive, although you know, we are essentially in the lobby if that giant blast door is to be believed. What is going on on the other side of that glass? Uh, here's where we're going to restore the power. Should I be concerned about the water on the ground? Uh, breaker 2. The breaker is connected to the Hammer Valley Dam. The Walter Company bought the Hammer Valley Dam, and now it's producing backup power for the bunker. This is the bunker. This is it. <laughs> the last two places I've been I thought could be the bunker, but all right. Uh, the dam is currently closed, so Breaker 2 is connected to TGD. Well, uh, the, bunk the dam is back online now. The main hall of the bunker is now connected to Breaker 2. Don't turn this off. There was a blackout, which probably caused some problems to Breaker 2. Without Breaker 2, you can't open the main hall doors. Connected Breaker 2 back to the Hammer Valley Dam because it was causing problems with the power lines. And the current bunker codes is 7923. Why does the code change so often? Who the heck could even get here? Well, when this place was populated, no one, but uh, I'm just a ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. special kind of guy. Oh, I want one. I bet it squeezes. All right, let's turn you on and you. There we go. Uh, I wonder if this actually wouldn't work if we hadn't connected the dam again. And look, I know for a fact that there are things like that in this game. I just don't know to what extent that actually goes. Maybe not here, simply because, uh, you know, obviously we need to be able to get these doors open. But who knows, maybe it does something else as well. And the light is on over that door. Can we open that? No. And we still cannot use this. Seven, nine, two, three. There we go. How cool is that? We are actually, look, this whole time we've been going through this infrastructure, even this basement, like the homeless have been in here, but this, this is going to be something I think is truly unset foot in since the days when it was working. Oh, almost missed that damage. Well, let's see what we can do. Or actually, how's our camera battery doing? Might as well top off. I still have nine packs of batteries left. This is actually kind of scary. So we've we've moved through Jeff Walter, we've moved through what we thought was the top, and now we're going into who was even above him. I wonder if there's somebody watching. I mean, my presence here would have had to have alerted someone, right? Go, save yourself. 
Oh, it's so funny how much distance that got. Wait, where'd my gold bar go? Okay, there it is. We're actually gonna start uncovering, like, government conspiracies now. It, it's so... It's such a crazy thing how this game manages to have a very interesting and, like, intriguing story... And yet, there's just so much more to where uh, the main story is almost only like the bottom 10% of everything there is. Uh, Tuesday, 14. Today was about the same as always, though there was some army general I haven't seen before. Looks like he had a bad morning that day. Someone must have pissed in his cereal. Anyway, seems that more cargo is going out than coming in. Mostly letters, files, and other paper stuff. Wednesday the 15th. Alright, finally some action. Some scientist or whatever was running towards the door and the guards grabbed him and took him away. I didn't even know we had a scientist. Not that I know much about this place anyway. I just guard the entrance. A couple more days, nothing unusual. Sunday the 19th. Whoa. I don't know what the heck happened today, but I heard there was some... Sunday the 19th, that's the metro accident. This is involved in that as well. Apparently the passengers are okay though. Thank God. Could have been a lot worse. That's not what we've been hearing. Not what that big memorial upstairs would have implied. Monday the 20th. I was told today that they're going to do some rearrangements and start moving the passengers out soon. It's still very unclear what's going to happen, but... We'll hear more about it tomorrow. And Tuesday the 21st. Alright, we're closing this bunker. They started moving stuff out. I tried asking about what's going on with the Metro passengers, but they refused to comment. I have a bad feeling about this one. That looks like dried blood. So, this Metro accident happened, and then they just completely cleaned house for potentially several values of that word, or that phrase. We're gonna find some really bad stuff down here, I think. It's crazy how it's given us, like, several dumps. Where I thought, like, okay, this has got to be what it's really about now. And it always just leads to a deeper level. Actually, I'm noticing that these levels almost function as, like, levels of the conspiracy. Each chapter. Each one taking you another rung down on the ladder. It always keeps you, like, wanting to go just a little bit further. Okay, this is like some kind of briefing room. Yep, SNW project instructions. But it's way too faded to read any details. Uh, wait, guard duties and scientist duties. So yeah, here's where they would have been giving the morning reports. Can't get through here. Although it looks like there's quite a large storage area beyond. I'm just trying to be thorough and find any documents that might be around. I know that the game's scoring does count documents separately from, like, damage and repairables. That was a creepy squeaking noise. A phone. A whole bunch of chairs. But nothing much else. SNW Project Bunker. But again, far too faded to do anything with. What would these people have had to do with the Metro accident? And they said everyone is okay, but clearly that's not the narrative in the present. Okay, no photographable here. I don't think Jonas fixed that circuit breaker properly. 
There was a brief blackout today with Breaker 2. You couldn't open the main hall door or do anything at the main hall. But now everything should be in order. If it doesn't work, make sure everything is okay in the electrical room, which is just outside the bunker. Okay, I think, uh, I think we already took care of that, which is why this doesn't matter. I'm gonna look around before I push that button. And nothing over here in the break area. Okay. I still have nine packs of Let's see left. what this does for us then. Oh, what? No way. They've got the train. That's an odd place for a train wreck. It certainly is. They say everyone's okay. Nobody's alive in the modern day. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, those shadows cast by the chairs. It's almost like we're... It's almost like we're looking at the ghosts of the people coldly standing over and observing this thing. Every once in a while, this game gives you a moment where you just feel like a sinking. And you realize that you're looking at something so much bigger than you thought possible. Let's figure out then what the Metro Accident cover-up is. All of this, everything that they were doing with Jeff Walter acquiring all those different industries, running them into the ground, and then it all just stops after the Metro Accident. Okay, nothing here. Oh, these are all living quarters. You know, it's funny because I actually sort of had the memory of discovering an area. There's something back here. I had the memory of discovering a train wreck in a game in similar circumstances, and I couldn't place the memory of where it was from. Well, here we go. Right, there's got to be something around here. There's too many lockers and bunks. <laughs> I guess somebody enjoyed eating in bed. I'm the kind of person who, no matter what circumstances I discover fries in, I would be very tempted to grab a few. Was that flashing, or is it just the lighting? No. Hmm. Okay, so nothing here that I can see, but I guess I will probably be back to check. Okay, so there's batteries right at the front there. Gotta try all these doors. Huh. Some of these living accommodations feel like they're comfier than my own room. You again. Nothing here either. These blast doors are sealed. Some damage here. It's not good. Okay, so we are using our camera here. Even if it probably doesn't show up on any of our maps and is thus outside our jurisdiction. But you know me, I'm a professional tattletale, and I'm about to tell my tallest tattletale. That makes ten packs of batteries for the flashlight. Okay, don't like those noises. I like the gaps in the ceiling even less. I feel like any moment I'm gonna see some emaciated, horrible figure peering out over the edge. I knew I'd find someone like you. B4. Eh, B2. And it's crazy the implications that designation carries now. Alright, we've got a hallway going down here. The canteen looks like it's seen better days. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Oh, we can pick this stuff up. We can- Oh! Hey, I remember this now! 
Yeah, no, okay, okay, okay. I have screenshots of this. I'll throw them up on the screen. So, okay, back years ago, when I did my run-through of this game, I actually picked this guy up, and we went on a whole whirlwind adventure together. And by the end of it, uh, it ended up sadly... Uh, I got pretty far with it, but it sadly despawns once you do finally get back to the office. Yeah, but it was a wild ride. Oh, look. We even got some growing out of a hat. Oh, life finds a way. It certainly does. Oh, and I guess we're also going to report this elevator not working because, you know, that's what's wrong with this place. Yeah, I I'm so tempted to take this thing with me again. But, like, even let's be real, even the gold bar, I'm probably just going to find someplace funny to put it. Because uh, carrying something while trying to record and be at least somewhat cinematic, it's not going to be great having something basically hovering in the middle of the screen the entire time. Uh, yeah, they took all documents with them, everything they could, but in my experience, there's always something left behind. I mean, I have plenty of uh, psych hospital documents in my drawer, even some from a power plant. Uh, yeah, we're not going to learn much from here. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> uh, you want us to make ourselves a little impromptu staircase, do you? Uh, but we're not going to mess with that until we've explored everything we can legitimately access. There's a little computer and tape deck right here. Can't open this. All right, was there anything back the other way? Interesting. Oh, almost forgot to take a picture of this. Yeah, I think we've got to figure out how to get up there. And the vents will be the way we do it. Come on now. Oh, this is going to be so annoying. All right, there we go. Now, where are we going? Is that... Hmm. I was going to say, is that some kind of motion detector? But I guess it's some kind of, like, air quality sensor. I believe we found our way out. Uh, but it is not going to do much for us in the moment. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Yeah, so we're basically pumping mushroom air through this place. That's locked. Alright, well, well, we'll worry about that later, because that's probably the way out of here. In the meantime, we've got some offices to rifle through. Yep! <laughs> they always forget something. Somebody told them, remove everything from the file areas. Forgot the boardroom where those files would have been viewed. Oh, and look. It's got that same style as the stuff under the metro station. Fascinating. SMW emergency instructions. Due to the fact that the metro accident has caused a high risk to exposing the entire SMW project, we're going to start moving all equipment and personnel to the HR base immediately. The science team must be kept in their sleeping quarters until the whole place is cleaned. They will be getting all the supplies they need, including food, water, and medicine. Any surviving, mes Any surviving metro passengers must be executed and their bodies must be disposed with. We can't hand the bodies over to their families due to radiation. The train will either be transported or dismantled if possible. Any remaining evidence must be destroyed. Report immediately if any problems arise with the personnel. If someone tries to escape or do anything against the rules, they must be dealt with. It's all right here in black and white. Everyone survived the metro accident, but due to its proximity to their underground projects, they had everyone killed. And from what we saw, it was a lot of people. This is what it's all been about, but they clearly didn't get rid of everything because the train is still there. They wanted it dismantled. I don't understand why they didn't complete this if it's so important. Right, there's no getting through there, but there's more here. Wait, can we... can we turn on the projector? We can. As 
you may already know, this project is very important for the future of our country. We are between two major alliances, and we cannot trust either. If there's going to be another war, we won't last long. That's why you are here today. We are going to guarantee a safe future for our children and for everyone who lives in this country. Next, I'm going to tell you a bit about this underground complex and what we're doing here. Please do. The scientist team lives in the accommodation wing next to the laboratory. The door code is 2077. Good. Entry. Uh, it stops there, I guess. And again, these devs would be ones to have it keep going, like, ten minutes in. Okay, I watched it through again and nothing happened, but... This is all about defense. They said they're between, presumably, NATO and the Warsaw Pact. And in neither. Because this country either is Finland or is a direct analog for Finland. SNW, could that actually be Stahlberg nuclear weapons? If so, that's a big deal. Usually that's the kind of thing that only happens in my Hearts of Iron games. By the way, unrelated note, playing Hearts of Iron as Finland is super fun. Uh, SNW bunker report. We have some major issues within our science team. Xander Berg and one other scientist escaped. We're going to start searching the area with the help of the Stolberg Police Department and find out how Berg managed to escape. I'm sure we'll find Berg in no time. Unfortunately, one of the scientists was found dead in the hallway between rooms G1 and G2. He had a strange note full of codes with him. So far, the evidence suggests suicide, but we'll be looking more to this matter when we have the time. So a mysterious death within the bunker that even they don't know about. Uh, the science team isn't the only problem, though. It's been a bit problematic getting rid of the metro passengers, and we haven't decided what to do with the train yet. There have been some problems with the guards, but we've managed to handle them, so a lot of people... I guess a lot of people, it didn't sit right how this was being handled. Although we had a slow start, we're still going to be able to move everything out and start hiding evidence about... And there, it looks like they've typed over it. Uh something horribly wrong we have to leave immediately so they it looks like they tried to start typing didn't realize that there was paper already in there and by the time they realized they were either stopped or were like alright forget it but what happened what happened that would have forced them to leave immediately well a whole lot of people must be sweating knowing that all this is down here, just waiting to be found. Look, when I played this game for the first time a few years ago, I was in it for the urbex and the documentation. I am so invested in uncovering this conspiracy, I cannot put this down. All right, well, we've done that. Door code 2077. A thought occurs. A thought occurs. I've got to check all these things. <laughs> I'm not going to subject you to that. Oh, wait. Did I even see this room back here? Well, there's the patch board. I'm assuming nothing's going to happen with this, considering the cable is connected in the same place. Probably just a reused asset. Can't carry any more of these. Yeah, I I've literally been running around for like 10, 15 minutes. You, you gave me a door code. Where do I put in? I've never found a, a key code before I found the keypad. Oh, this opens now. All right, finally, God. All right. So we can take this elevator down, or we can walk along the catwalks. I know what I'm doing first. And there's a room beyond here, presumably leads to the control room. That we cannot open. Oh no, are we actually gonna have to operate this thing? Because that seems dangerous. We are. Okay, well, let's leave that until we know what we're going to do with it. This is a remnant of an event that lives on in people's memory. But they have no idea the full extent. 
They have no idea that all this is right under their feet still. But at least, I mean, at least somebody saw it. At least it's all going to come to light now. Uh, provided we actually survive all this. All right, I guess, uh, I guess this isn't worth documenting. Can we open doors and such? Ooh, we can open this one. And that's closed. And there's no friggin' way. They didn't move the bodies. I don't know if they said when the metro accident was, but surely there's still people to hang for this, right? I've got to wonder to what extent the greater government knows about this. Well, honestly, it doesn't matter how much they know because uh, a society like this is not going to tolerate a crime of this nature. I don't think they're going to buy in the name of defense as a good reason. I don't even have a quip for that. That's just... <laughs> it's a video game, and I want to be in the front row of the trials. Uh, uranium enrichment. Yep. Uranium hexafluoride gas enters centrifuge. The lighter separates and rises... The denser sinks down and is extracted. Enriched gas is sent to a second centrifuge. Process is repeated in a cascade of centrifuges. Fascinating. Well, at least Mark's having fun. 100%. This is... This is... Their nuclear pro program. How many billions of dollars is all this worth? So, okay. If we're looking at this in the form of layers, probably gotta move this container or something. Uh, if we're looking at this as a series of layers that we need to unravel, this is the what happened to the Metro layer. The next thing we need to figure out is what caused them to abandon ship. Just having a quick look around for damage. And yeah, the tunnel itself appears to... Oh no, the tunnel itself is not collapsed. It's just rocky. Just imagine the confusion. You get into a metro accident. You end up being rescued by the military, which, what are they doing down here? And I, I wonder if there was any point, like, how it was done... Like, they poisoned their food or something, if they put them all against a wall, if they knew what was happening. Alright, I'm gonna close this door for now, but I counted 22 in total. I think we need to move this thing over here, and we're probably gonna do it with that overhead crane. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so we are carrying one of these things. Uh, maybe we can use that to... Ooh, maybe we don't have to move that thing. Maybe we can use it to climb up and over. Oh, well, no, that doesn't really make a lot of sense because we would have to... Yeah, we would be able to climb over the ones that are already there. Okay, so left-click and right-click does that. Wouldn't be a source game without a physics puzzle, would it? Uh, and can we... Whoops, that's E. Can we drop you? Yeah, not that I can see. We can uh, maybe we can just kind of push the other thing out of the way. Careful not to damage the thing itself. There we go. Oh, but careful not to block our way out either. Right, let's just leave that right there. Actually, 
Now let's use this thing to travel all the way back. No reason to worry our pretty little legs walking all the way. Man, think of how sore Mark must be. I mean, I'm in pretty bad shape after a day of exploring, but I don't think I've ever had one go on for quite so long and as violent as this. So I'm not sure what we're going to find over here. Okay, that's not going to open, and we're not going to photograph it. And this, I suspect, is not going to get us out. Hmm, well, this is new. We're upstairs. Oh, this is the laboratory that we couldn't enter before. Keep out. I can only imagine what nuclear horrors are over there, but there's the keypad. Okay, 2077. Enter. All right, well, whatever, it doesn't matter, they're open anyway. I guess we don't have to punch it in. But yeah, we have opened a whole new thing for us. And the crazy thing is, like, we don't have to find any of this. I actually alt-tabbed out when I was trying to Google where this stupid keypad is, and I found out that if you don't hook up the hydroelectric dam in the beginning of the game, this whole bunker is unpowered and you can't do any of this. And so we could, we would have gotten here and then just gone straight out because there only would have been power to the blast doors. That's nuts. That is absolutely an insane dedication to those who love exploring, and it's why I love this game. I remember this. Can't carry any more of these. Dude, I remember this place very well, actually, because I remember recording part of the creepy Easter eggs video here. Uh, there's actually a couple of things to be found in this area, but dude, look at this. Imagine, you're... who knows how deep under the city no one can know about this place, no one can know what you're doing. And yet there was still room in the budget for amenities such as this. Your own private little resort. All sponsored by Osmo Loot. Can't get in here. I bet they had a whole bar in there and everything, right? Wait, G5. This is the quarters. I think it would have been right at this intersection here was where they said they found the dead scientist. And they said he had a book of codes with him. Nothing here. These accommodations are actually really comfy looking. G4. It is so creepy to open this up and find the lights all on. Like someone just stepped out for a moment and... Well, aside from a layer of dust and maybe a bit of mold, I mean, it all seems just fine. Although I do get the distinct impression that if you were to lie down on one of these beds, there would be a layer of damp moisture. Right, still doing good on camera batteries. It's around the other way. Should I be photographing all this stuff? Probably should, right? Someone should get it fixed. <laughs> it's, it's real inconsistent. Good. It's really inconsistent what you actually choose to look at. Okay, I don't think I'm not seeing the ramp of climbables over there. Okay, are there any documents that anyone left behind? Because documents will always be key. Actually, I don't think it's considered the documents uh, section. I think there's three distinct uh, things that you can complete. They're destruction or like damage, they're repairables, and then I think the third thing, which documents fall under, is conspiracy. Did you hear that? 
I still hear it. That sounds like r rasping breath. Ooh, there's a key here. Uh, Thursday the 16th. I'm really starting to think that Richard isn't doing so well. He has an unsettling gaze, as if he might grab a knife and start stabbing people at any moment. No one likes being around him. Even the guards keep their distance from him. At night I can hear banging and other disturbing noise from his room. Friday the 17th. I'm trying to figure out why Richard stole paint cans from storage. Is he redecorating his room? I might be getting paranoid, but... I think I can sometimes see a dark silhouette of a human figure in the hallway between Richard's room and mine. I must be going crazy after being a prisoner for so long in this cursed bunker. This could actually be that Xander Berg. Something has gone terribly wrong. The guards locked the doors yesterday. I heard rumors about some metro accident that happened near the main hall. Or some explosion? Richard hasn't shown up since that happened. I doubt he caused the accident, but something did happen in his room. If they don't let us out of here, I'm going to sneak out and find out what happened. Monday the 20th. No, you're not Berg, you're the other one. Berg has just escaped. I can't believe he left us here. He escaped shortly after the guards brought him back. Before that, he told us to wait a few days until everything is normal. The others are trying to figure out how Berg got out. I need to see what's in Richard's room before I leave. I hope he doesn't kill me. So you got his key. Interesting. So Berg did escape. I, I don't remember if we learned if he had been recovered or not. That door's still locked. They had said it had happened be between their rooms. I never noticed this before. Well, now I'm kind of sad that I missed the opportunity you know, back when I made that Easter eggs video a few years ago. Dude, that is so creepy. Just an indentation in the wall. I still have nine packs of batteries left. And here it is. Richard's magnum opus. Oh, look at this. They said that he had stolen a bucket of paint, but this to me does not look like paint. Also, I have to once again ask. Look familiar? This thing is so... Look. I'm actually starting to hatch a thought. We see it here. We see it there, we saw it at the exit of the Bergman Tunnels, and we saw it, well, we saw it in Tunnel B2. And now we learn that Berg's group was called B2? I think there's something significant there. I think this creature is actually somehow involved in what's been going on here. And now we hear about people, even in this place, seeing it in the night. And here's that computer, that infamous computer with the codes on it, which, uh, to the best of my knowledge, have not been completely solved. See, I, I never know exactly what I should be paying attention to, because I know that there's certain things that are part of an ARG that was launched alongside this game. And I don't know if it's ever been fully solved. Oh, right. I had almost forgotten. There's this on the ceiling. G1, G2, G3. Inside, tell me. It's behind the wall. Anything in the bathroom? No. You're gonna leave that to our imagination. If I ever told you that I love this game? I'm gonna say it again. I love this game. This is nuts. Um, I'm hashing theories about a paranormal entity while exploring a government nuclear bunker that was also involved with a massive cover-up. 
this is when I said that it was an explorer's dream, I was not exaggerating. And I knew we'd find something up here. Oh wait, can we can we get over here? There's always some reason to go the opposite direction. No, not this time. I was thinking we could maybe run along the wall and get on top of that shack over there. And my voice is starting to wear out. Yeah, I think we're just about done tearing this place up. Oh, great. Ventilation. My favorite. Well, let's save battery where we can. But yeah, I'm starting to wonder if maybe this Morco isn't actually like a product of the stuff that goes on here. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. No, it's just batteries. You know, we had learned earlier that people do tell the stories about something in Tunnel B2. And that would predate the Metro accident by quite a while, its construction, but, you know, Xanderberg was part of B2. Maybe... Maybe it's like a misguided attempt to find him. Wandering that tunnel for eternity, doomed to never find him. Oh, this leads us back here. <laughs> okay, but we're going back because we never looked at that lab. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Oh, we could open this from the other side. All right. Now let's see. Before we enter there, radiation hazard. Oh, let's see where this goes. Nowhere, fine. What can we learn from the labs? Hmm. This is nerve wracking. Even if it is just decontamination. What are doing in here? Well, that's not good. I can't tell if these were already going off before I came in. That makes 10 packs of batteries for the flashlight. Richard, I've told you over and over again to use proper precautions when experimenting with the core and the reflector. Is that what that says? A mere screwdriver is not safe. No matter how good your... I can't read that. No matter how good your prestidigitation is... And how, and how cautious you claim to be, if that reflector locks in, we're all dead. Core experiments. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember this because I remember earning a very particular achievement I here. Like and we are going to be doing it, which is why I'm going to be saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beer in the, in the tester. That's the state of this place. Should I really not be letting someone know that there's apparently a radiation leak in here? So right after we save... Yeah... Boop! Yeah... Boop! And that's the end of us. And if I didn't already have it, that would earn us the Demon Core achievement. Imagine my surprise when I was just fiddling about in here, having no idea what this is, and doop doop doo, just trying, you know, doing what I was always taught to as a toddler. Okay, the circle goes in the round hole. Instant death. Although that's a mercy compared to what would actually happen. So maybe then, maybe this is why the place had to be abandoned? Because of an accident in here requiring immediate evacuation. And they really just never came back. Alright, well I can't find anything else here. So I think, I think we're pretty much done with this place. 
Actually, I just realized we never did search all of these. I think we only did, yeah, we only did up to G4. G5, this room is barricaded. And from the look of it, someone never made it out. I wonder if maybe, maybe the accident happened and they found this guy hanging rather than face what he knew was going to happen to him and just left him here because, well, you can't remove irradiated bodies. Either that or maybe it just wasn't convenient for whatever reason to take him with them. Howdy. Hey. Am I interrupting something? Are you the one that caused the accident? Because if so, that would be just extremely funny. I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. I guess we're still full up on all that. And nothing here. Okay, I think now we're ready to move on. Oh wait, we can actually... I hadn't realized we could photograph that. Uh, good thing I thought of that on the way out. A fun fact is that if you no-clip into the room where that body is, uh, it, it actually is just a pair of boots sitting on the bed, but you know, the implication is clear. Uh, now, we needed to bring these back to the vents uh, so that we can use them for uh, triggering the alarms. We need it to think that it's circulating bad air. Well, we need it to realize, finally, that it's circulating bad air uh, so that it'll shut the fan off and we can get out of here. Uh, you're right there. Don't want to lose you. Uh, oh, maybe the gas sensors are just switched off. Okay, I'm hearing beeping. Hearing beeping. We can close this so it doesn't matter. And then there's the other one downstairs, which should now be trippable. Okay, so if we put you here, there we go. That's two. Uh, so where's the third sensor then? Ah, uh, there's one right here. Convenient, because you're right here. And we can do that, and now the alarm is off, and we are away. I think? It sounded like it. You've stopped. Oh, you rolled away. All right, now you're good. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I, I know this episode is already probably running long, but I just can't help myself. I'm not gonna take it with me through the whole game like before, but the least we can do is bring this little guy to the surface, right? I mean, like, it, we're kind of indebted to them at this point. They did get us out of here. Let's go. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about like the mushrooms growing on it, but it still just feels right. Oh, that looks like daylight. It was faint, not as overpowering as it normally is, but I'll take anything I can get that is green and not the radioactive kind. Actually, I just realized something. They said somewhere that these green mushrooms are they, they were discovered in that the construction of the Stahlberg tunnels. The Is it possible they're actually a product of the radioactive experiments? Okay, so this is open and it shouldn't be, but I guess we can't photograph it. Uh, this is damaged. So that's an issue. We're always so close yet so far. I believe you go down there. That's the question of this game is where did we come from and where do we go? This should be the right way. Is it? Yeah, no, we didn't we didn't come this way. Alright, buddy, you and me against the world. Now you could at least do me the courtesy of having some ambient light about you. It would save me a ton in flashlight batteries.
Oh, this is going a long, long way. I'm just waiting for it to hit me with the level load. There it is. All right, no way I'm ending this episode just in the middle of a tunnel. We're about to stop this, but I've got to see what's ahead. Oh my god, it just goes on and on. I almost want it to flood and wash away this misery. Yeah, but then again, those responsible for all this would never be brought to justice. Oddly enough, this whole thing kind of exonerates Jeff Walter. Which is kind of funny because, like, you know, Alexander Hartman, he dedicated his life to bringing this guy down. And he probably died not knowing he never had the full picture. How's it look down there? Hello? I guess he's not very talkative. Alright, Mushroom Bear, come on. I had promised, by the way, do you see how annoying this is? This was fine when I was doing my own gameplay, but uh, this huge obstruction is the reason why I'm not going to be doing this for nearly as long as I did last time. And we only go deeper. Wait, and find a journal. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 no, sit up, sit up. It is story time. You know, going down that way. Wednesday the 15th. You must be... You escaped. It's been a while since I last wrote. I've been thinking about Eric Kleinman lately. I have to say, I miss his company. This is how Xander Berg got out. I wouldn't know what to tell him if we ever met again. I hope he doesn't think I just left without even leaving a note. I'm so mad at myself for believing that we were doing something good. I thought Eric would receive my letters, but it turns out that wasn't the case. We had no idea we would eventually be prisoners. Some people were allowed to move around freely and even use the phone. I was the one receiving special treatment the whole time. I was leading the science team, and I knew more about the project than anyone else. They said that's why I couldn't come and go as I please or use the phone. I thought this would be a short project, but... I've been here for years already. Monday the 20th. I was about to leave my room when the guards came for me. They took me to the hallway where the phones were and told me they were going to give us some supplies. I asked them to bring me some medicine, giving me a chance to use the phone. No one answered. That's... that's the call we received earlier at Stahlberg Steel. That wasn't even a very good idea because they're probably tapping our phone calls. I have my supplies now. It's time for me to leave. I'm leaving this diary here for anyone who might escape. The entrance seems to lead to the sewers. If you manage to escape, find me first before you tell anyone else. This plot just never stops thickening, does it? Fascinating. Man, I really couldn't find space in my pockets for that gold bar. It's probably worth a lot more than the thousand dollars I have shoved in there, but... Well, it looks like we're gonna have to go down to go up. But until we undertake that, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. This was a packed episode, to put it lightly.